I'm here today to do my Jurassic Park book tag. <laughs> uh, the original, the prompts I'm using are not my original content. They are from the user Tiny Book Dragon. I'll include a link for her channel and for this specific book tag video below. It is 10 different prompts and I'm really excited to do it because I really enjoyed my read through of this book and watching this movie again. The first prompt is, what is your favorite dinosaur? <laughs> and I know it's gonna sound super cliche because I'm sure a lot of people answer this, but I really loved Velociraptors growing up. And they're probably still my favorite dinosaur. And it's because of this movie, the Jurassic Park, that I fell in love with them. I know because I did a report on them when I was like nine and we had to do like a little booklet up on them. I just, I got, I went down the nine-year-old rabbit hole of dinosaur books. <laughs> Prompt two, Alan Grant. Name a, name a book character who you think would survive to the end of Jurassic Park. I'm going to go with, um, I think his name is Dietrich Haroldson, I think is how you would say the name. It's from the book Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks. He, in the book, he is kind of like an assassin fighter who deal, who's pretty good at fighting these things called fiends, which I think are like the magic world equivalent to dinosaurs. So I think he'd do pretty good. He would definitely have the survival skills if he can't take one down on his own. Prompt three, Ellie Sattler. Name a character who would be willing to risk their own life to save someone else's. For me, I'm going to go with Vasilisa Arvasia from the Winter Night Trilogy. She sacrifices so much for her family in at least the first two books. I don't know what the third book is like, baby, I'm way off base here. But she is willing to sacrifice so much for her family to save them and for others who she feels have been wronged by the situation. And so I think she would be in that position. <laughs> Question four is Ian Malcolm. What is a book that you could predict the ending of. And for this one, I'm gonna say Home Before Dark by Riley Sager, or Sager, however you wanna say it. Um, I figured out pretty quickly kind of what was going on, but I still found the twist to be really interesting. Like, there were a bunch of options. I just happened to latch onto the right one. Question five, Dennis Nedry. Name a character who you think would <laughs> be willing to put others in danger for their own gain. Well, I realize now that I didn't actually put anything down because I'm dumb. <laughs> um, but I would have to say, I cannot remember his name, but it would be the main character from Space Opera by Catherine M. Valente because he did kind of put his, he did kind of put people in danger for his own gain, and I just, yeah, I just, I didn't really have an easy time coming up with an answer for this one. Um, I love great characters, and I just have blanked this entire week on this prompt. So that's the answer I have. Kind of half-assed, but it's the answer I have. Prompt six is Brachiosaurus. Name a book that took you a long time to finish. I'm gonna go with um, Peace and Turmoil here. Um, which I had mentioned earlier, but I'm going to mention again because I had picked it up for a vlog that I ended up not publishing. Um, I got about halfway through and decided to nix the idea. And then I put the book down because I picked it up for that vlog. And then I got reading a bunch of other stuff and it's now been like a month and a half since I picked it up. So <laughs> I picked it up, sat down, read it in a day because I had nothing else to do with, bum, with my bum mouth from the wisdom teeth pulled. Prompt seven, T-Rex. Name a book that you thought was intimidating, but once you finished it, you really enjoyed. And I'd have to say, for me, this one would have been um, Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. I was terrified to pick it up because it's just considered this, like, masterpiece of high fantasy. It's the father of high fantasy. And I was really worried I wasn't going to like it. And then I ended up loving it. But it's definitely a book you have to read with a certain frame of mind. So I understand why people don't like it and why people are afraid to pick it up because I was part of that afraid to pick it up group. Prompt eight is Velociraptor. Name a book that you just flew through or a book that's fast paced really. For this, I went with Recursion by Blake Crouch. I picked it up and read it until it was done basically. 
there was, I did read some of it at work, so I didn't get to like finish it, finish it. But when I came home, I just sat down and finished the gosh dang thing. I loved it. It was fast paced. It was interesting. It had twists and turns. It was a good time. I super recommend it if you like sci-fi thrillers. Nine is Pterodactyl. Name a book that flew you to another world. Um, I'd actually have to go with a really recent read for this one. It is uh, Black Sun. Yeah, Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. A Roanhorse, I'm not sure, entirely sure how you want to say that. Or I'm not entirely sure how that's said. But I got super into the world she kind of developed with this book. It was really interesting and it, the way it was developed wasn't really info dumpy. You explored and got more of the world every time you switched perspectives and every time you came back to a perspective you'd been to before, your world would be a little bit more expanded and then it would expand more with them. It was just brilliantly done and I just, oof, the world was finely crafted, should, <laughs> to say the least. And this, this leaves me to the final prompt 10 triceratops. Name three people that you want to tag to do this video. Um, I personally don't have a, enough like personal, amicable, friendly ties with anybody in the community to feel like really comfortable calling them out to tag something. So I'm actually just going to do a blanket tag where if you are watching this, if you're interested, please feel free to do this tag. The prompts I will include below and I'll include a link to the original video so you can get them there as well. And for those of you that have made it to the end, uh, let me know what are you with the dinosaur prompts, um, the Brachiosaurus, T-Rex, Velociraptor, Pterodactyl prompts. What books fit there for you guys? Because let me tell you, everybody I think approaches books that take you a long time to finish and books that are really intimidating differently in, ta in tackling them to either get them off their TBR or to just not read them at all. And just let me know what you guys think and what you thought of my choices. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video then. Bye.